hi, I'm Andy Himes from Microsoft, and if you've just tuned in by clicking channels on the remote, no, this is not the Fishing with Andy show. Reason I'm in the woods today has everything to do with the internet and this whole web page business. Web pages. Seems like everybody's got a web page these days. I even saw one for Bigfoot, but uh, I'm hoping I won't see him out here today. All right, here's the deal. I'm in the woods because a big part of today's show is about the Nature Conservancy. They buy ecologically important lands to save them, and then they save the animals and wildlife that call this land home. In this way, almost 20 million acres have been preserved throughout the world. The Nature Conservancy has all these great books and pamphlets and fact sheets that they send out, but when all this internet stuff broke out, they started thinking, well, let's see, text and pictures and uh, information, information superhighway, the internet, hey, uh, web pages. Let's do a web page. Good afternoon, the Nature Conservancy. Well, the Nature Conservancy of Washington has more than 30,000 members in the state. And that's a lot of paper to print when you're sending out newsletters and brochures to that many people. So when the idea of a website came up, we thought this would be a great way to communicate easily and quickly to members. I've been a member of the Nature Conservancy for 30 years and appreciate all the things they do for the environment and the land they protect. Very excited about the new website that they're developing here. I like the interactive potential that they've got for some of the programs on it and it's a wonderful way to spread the good news of the Nature Conservancy. My opinion is that the web is a place where most companies, nonprofits, businesses, and so on, are going to need to be, just like they're in the yellow pages. I expect people to also be able to look at the Nature Conservancy site to get information about the Nature Conservancy. So I'd be able to use it right then and there. It's immediate and it's useful. Preserving nature is very important to me personally and my kids are interested in it as well. And one of the ways that we investigate nature and, and answer questions that come up during the day when we're outside together um, or at school is to visit certain websites. Uh, we particularly enjoy the Nature Conservancy's website because it answers our questions about the web of life and uh, it's easy to explore, it's fun to explore and my kids really enjoy it. So that's the primary way that we're using the internet. Dad, look at this. We would like people who are not members of the Nature Conservancy or maybe not even very interested or knowledgeable about environmental issues to be able to learn about uh, uh, some of the issues that we're uh, trying to tackle and, and specifically get involved in projects or in supporting the program. Uh, we also hope to engage kids. Uh, that's another goal is that we think uh, the website is a great opportunity to get kids more involved in issues surrounding their future because that's what this is all about. The reason we do what we do it, it is looking forward to 100 years, 200 years in the future. Now the Nature Conservancy took this and turned it into this. Now, not only is this an informational website, but it's living on the cutting edge of the technologies that are evolving on the web. Today we're going to take you step by step through this process and provide you with all the information that you need for your own designs and web pages. Well, but don't think that this is a tutorial for beginners. It isn't. We'll be covering a lot of information, both technical and graphical, so hold tight and enjoy the ride. I'm going to go out and see if I can spot an eagle around here. I've heard they grow pretty big. In the meantime, we're going to send you to Seattle for Microsoft's World Wide Live. And I'll see you in a little while. Sure hope I can spot an eagle out here. Live from Seattle, Washington, it's Worldwide Live, activating the Internet. 
Get ready for some incredible information on how you or your company can activate your website. Plus, later this afternoon, we'll be taking a tour of the future as Jonathan Siebold and Bill Gates give us their version of where all this activation will take us. But let's get on with it. Here's our host for today's show, Robert Hess.